this is called, um, um, I like the term that describes this as the superconscious mind. So, you know if you have an impulse, um, let's say you hear about a book and you think, oh, I'll buy that book because it sounds really interesting. Um, just go for it, where, because if you don't buy it there and then, you'll probably never get around to it. And then that might be some piece of information that you've lost, even if it's like, oh, I want to go for a walk. So when you're thinking in your marketing, I want to try this idea, or I'm going to send this email out, or I'm going to contact this journalist, or you know, whatever it is, just, just follow through. And, and if it doesn't work out, that's, that's absolutely fine. Just get on with the next thing. Just brush it off. You know? and if, 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 so if you get yourself in a peak state, if you do some exercise before, or if you just think, oh, I really like uh, you know, Richard Branson, I'll just get into Richard Branson's head before I make this phone call. You know, and how would Richard Branson uh, you know, be on the phone? Obviously, he'd be really confident, really well-spoken. His tonality would be good. You know, his, his physiology would be good. He'd be you know, really articulate as well. So you know, a, a lot of it is um, you know, how we communicate. A lot of um, people, believe, a lot of work has been done with psychology, and they say that 55% um, is our physiology, so how we stand up, how we sit. 38% is the tonality. So the words we use and how we speak, and seven, only 7% 7 is communication through words. So this is why, um, you know, if you're at a conference and there's 500 people there, uh, it's actually quite easy to be the most, uh, the person there in, in the most physically peak state. Uh, I do it whenever I go to a conference. I do it all the time. Um, um, I just hope that, you know, these kinds of things um, help. Okay, so this, this kind of gets, because what you need is the right psychology and the right belief system, um, because the more you believe in yourself, the more you achieve. Um, and, and also, be kind to yourself. So look at your life. Look at, um, look at all the good things in your life, the people that you love, the people that you care about, the things you're passionate about, the hobbies you like, you know, how do you treat yourself. Um, look at the things w that stress you out. So, uh, you know, if you get stressed out, um, what do you do? Do you, do you eat or do you switch the telly on or, um, or do you stay up late or do you, do you not go and see anyone? Um, and think about how you can counter that. Think about what am I going to do next time? Well, I'm going to exercise instead or I'm, you know, I'm going to do some marketing or I'm going to talk to such and such. And then be tough, tough with um, yourself as well. So what, if you all join the business of commerce locally, that will be a really good peer group for you because you're going to meet other people who are you know, successful in different areas and local community. Um, and that's like a, peer, a really good peer group that's going to push you further, friends that you can make, um, you know, it's just really great people. Um, and by list, the more you listen, um, the more you can listen to people as well, the more you can take in. Um, I'm not the world's best listener, although I've got a lot better in recent years. Um, and, you know, a lot of uh, ancient tribes in like uh, American Indians, they'll, um, th they will actually pass like a candlestick um, over and until and then and then someone will speak and then when they finish they will pass it around so they really take it in turn speaking um, and you can learn so much uh, more by listening than you know because we all like talking in our own heads you know um, but if, if we can just listen to other people's and, and, and take it in as well uh, and so when